Let's lie down. Can you lie down? Let's, let's lie on our backs and look up. Can you do that? Careful, you're on the edge. Go ahead, look up. I don't fall asleep, but look up. What do you see up there? What's up there? There's a light, okay? There's a big light. There's a window right above us. If you look, in a, especially as you look towards the back of the church, and you're looking up at the ceiling, what does that look like to you? It looks like something very specific to me. How many of you have ever been on a boat? Does that look like the bottom of a boat to you? It's exactly what it looks like to me. It looks like this is a boat upside down as I look at the ceiling of the church. And that's exactly what the church is. It is a boat. All right, let's sit up because we're going to fall asleep otherwise. The church is a boat. Actually, the church is an ark, which is a really big boat. You know, Noah's Ark, right? Filling animals. But the church is a boat that's upside down. What happens when a boat turns upside down to the people in it? What happens? You fall out, don't you? And usually you get wet. Well, that's what happened in baptism, wasn't it? You got wet and you became a child of God. Jesus turns the church upside down when he says you're going to have tribulation. Tribulation is just one of those big, long words that means there's going to be problems and maybe a little bit of pain in the world. And Jesus says, you're going to have that as you get older. You're going to really have that. The reason you're wearing masks is because of tribulation, isn't it? We don't want to wear those. But we have to because there's problems in the world, like disease. And then there's problems like you've seen about or heard about war, people getting hurt, people hungry. There's a lot of tribulation in the world. Jesus turns the church upside down so that he can send people out to tell them what Jesus says. I have overcome the world. You know what overcome means? It means to win. Wait, do you guys play softball or basketball or some kind of sport? And you overcome your, the other team. You win. Jesus won. He won the victory on, when he died on the cross to forgive our sins. And so he turns the church upside down to get us out, to sell us to go out into the world and tell people that there is peace to be had Peace is not just the absence of war when there is no war, because there would never be any peace anyway. Peace is an attitude that we have. Peace is Jesus in your heart. Is Jesus in your heart? Sure he is, right? He loves you very much. In fact, he says that in that reading that I just did. And Jesus says, because you have me in you, you will always have peace. Let's hold our hands, bow our heads, and repeat after me for prayer. Dear God, we thank you for Jesus who promises to bring us peace in this world. In Jesus' name we pray. All God's people say, Amen. You guys can